Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Yusuf channel and today we are going to dive something exciting which is Next.js. So if you are already familiar with React.js and want to just move and uh, uh, take your skills to the next level, so this is a perfect place for you to start. And in this video we are going to build uh, our first Next.js applications and cover some features and also explain the structure of Next app. So let's first of all explain what is Next.js. Okay, so the Next.js is the React framework that makes it super easy to build web application with better performance and SEO. Okay, this is React application and it, uh, I know, I, I hope that you already know React.js and Next.js just added some features and uh, to the uh, React. It is a framework of React. Okay, the, the features that uh, Next provide us uh, the super features like server site rendering and static site generation and API routes. Okay, let's first of all explain what is server side re uh, rendering or SSR. This means pages are rendered on the server before they reach to the browser. Before they reach to the browser, they are loaded, already loaded on the server side. And next is static site generation, or we can say simply SSG. This is pre rendered pages. Okay, these are pre rendered pages uh, which are um, we are created at the build times. That means we are whenever we are building our application, these are pre rendered pages. So these are perfect for our static sites. Okay, these are pre rendered pages at the build time. This is SSG main. And API routes means that we can create uh, APIs endpoints in our next app. It means this is a full stack uh, applic uh, framework that we can build our APIs inside this next app. And the cool part and um, of Next.js is that it handles routing for us. Okay, by default, it handles the routing for us. We don't need to be worry about that. So uh, it has splitted the code for us. Okay, it means that the code is splitted for us. We can just focus on our coding. So these are some uh, super features of Next.js. Now let's move to create our first Next.js application. So to create that for that, let's move to um, uh, VS Code Editor. I am using Visual Studio Code Editor and I have opened an empty folder next.js this folder. Now let's create our uh, next app inside this then we will explain the structure of next application. So let's move to terminal. Press Control plus back tick. After opening that let's write here npx create next app at latest the latest version. Press enter so it will ask you from you about your project name and some other features would you like to add them or not so need to install following packages create next app 14 okay to proceed yes uh, what is your project name let's write first next app press enter would you like to use a typescript no uh, would you like to use yes yes lint would you like to use uh tailwind css uh, yes we would like to use it would you like to use src directory yes and yes would you like to use app router yes and would you like to customize the default import alias uh, that is yes and what import ls would you like to configure that is okay. I don't need. Uh, yeah, it is installing now the dependencies. React, React DOM, next, Tailwind CSS. The installation of our project has been completed and we have created our first next app. This is our first next app. And let's run our server, our next app to see how it looks like. Uh, just come here and here write npm run dev so it will run it and uh, yeah we should move first of all to the cd first next up and why we can't move cd first next up cd cannot find path 
y c d first yeah first next up press enter so after moving to the first next up let's write npm run dim now let's move to this url yeah let's just just come here and we would like to move okay to this url localhost 3000 and let's open it this is the default next app let's wait for it it is loading yeah this is our first next app that you see now so let's now clear this default code and we would like to add our own code so for that let's close the terminal and come here to the src app after coming to the app come here to the first of all to the global that global that's uh, css here we write the global css code let's close uh, clear all the code we will just leave these three lines which are used for Telvin CSS. Close it and this is the layout file and here we have just our metadata and HTML and body tag. And let's close it also and just come here to the page.jsx. So by default this page.js is loading for us. Okay, we have seen before this app. So let's close this code and we would like to add some new code, some changes to this page and let's write here div element and inside that h1 tag in here i will write welcome to first next touch is up save it and let's move back to the browser you will see welcome to first next touch is up let's just add some uh tailwind css classes like text 3xl and text uh low 500 save that and let's check it now look at we have just increased the size and changed the color first next app if you would like to uh, create another page it means to move a second page we explained at the start that by default the next app has uh, routing it means that we can move from one page to another page without like in react js we were install react router but here we don't need that instead of that simply create folders so you will access the routing let's inside this app i will create about page about and inside this i will create page.js file inside that let's write our page component and inside that yeah page let's simply write here about page save that now let's create a link to this about page come here to the page to the app page.js and here i will create a link for about page so to create a link we will just import link component from our next js import link from next link so after importing that now let's use that we just come here and we would like to add to slash about that's simple about save that and let's move back to the browser and we paste with error yeah sorry we should not this is not actually we should use a trip save that and let's run it okay let's press this about and we will load the about page look at about page we have loaded the about page it is how it is working the routing in next js let's move now to the file structure uh, <coughs> look at in the app we have few icon this is few icon global that is we are writing our css layout and page.js if you want to add a routing so you can create just a uh, uh, folders so you can access your pages through those folders for example we have access this about page through this about folder if you create an for example contact page folder inside that just simply write page.js you will access the code of that through uh, moving to contact okay slash contact like let's simply create it inside this app i will create a new folder contact let's create a file page.js or AFCE simply here I will write contact if we now write in the browser contact instead of about it will move us to contact page look at contact that's how it's working so this was our first next JS app 
and we will go forward and in the next videos we will explain more concepts related to next js and we will move through uh, real life examples uh, in next js so i hope you like this video uh, and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching